Hey friends, welcome back. So like I said, we are going to do activity number two, which is your project for today. Like I said, since we cannot have a meeting today because of my professional development I need to take, we are going to do the activity together now. And then you guys can do it on your own whenever you feel like it. So this is our activity. This is what we would have done in the afternoon. So I already colored my flowers, but you guys can do that at the end, okay? So let's start first by reading the directions. So it says cut and paste flowers. Find and match and paste, so glue, the pictures together. So you guys have to find from the bottom the matching flowers, okay? So it's like you're cutting yourself in half. You have to find your missing half, okay? You have to make the picture whole again. So the first step you need to do, take your scissors and cut the bottom off, okay? You're just cutting this. Just like that. So this is what you should have. You should have four incomplete flowers, okay? Four flowers that are cut in half and are missing their other half of them, okay? We're gonna leave this here. And we're gonna go ahead and continue cutting out on the dotted line, okay? So go ahead, cut on the dotted lines. Very carefully. And friends, I would love if you guys do this and not your parents. That way you guys can prepare and get ready for kindergarten and the next school year. And your mommies and daddies and brothers and sisters already know how to cut. So I don't need to see them cutting. I need to see you cut. So I'm cutting very carefully on the dotted line. It's okay if you need help with some of them. But do your best. So I'm just cutting them out. So I have this yellow one. This one. And this one. So you should have four flowers. And the only reason I colored mine first is to help you see which ones go together, okay? So you guys cannot color them until the end because you're not gonna know which ones go together, okay? I was able to figure out which ones match, but when you guys are done matching, then you can go ahead and color. That way your flower is one entire color, okay? So we're gonna start with this one. We have to find something that makes this one unique or different, right? And if you look, this one has pokey leaves or petals, right? They're pokey, they're almost pointy at the end. None of them really, these two don't have pointy edges, right? And this one has pointy edges, but it's not as tiny. See, these are skinny, these are not, okay? So we need to find the small pointy flower. So is this the small pointy flower? Nope. How about this one? Hmm. That's the pointy flower, but it's not the skinny one, right? We said that there were two pointy flowers, so there's points here, but it's not skinny. This is the fat one. And what about this one? Uh-huh, look. And you guys can hold it up to see if it matches. Does it make a complete flower? It sure does. So you guys can glue that together you are making the flower whole. So put that glue on there, match it up the best you can, and make that flower whole. And then you can go ahead and color it once your glue dries. So there is our first complete flower. You can tell the second you glue it together or hold it up to it if it matches or not, okay? So now that we already know that this is our other pointy flower, and we know that these two are rounded, let's find that other pointy flower. Now we didn't say this was it, right? That, that doesn't match, no. Did we say this was it? Yeah, look. 
It's a pointy flower. So I'm going to glue it right here because it matches our other pointy leaf. Okay? Whoop! Spewing glue all over the place. Okay, there's our other pointy flower. Glue that so it matches. Like I said, if you cut it a little crooked, it's okay. But there are our two pointy flowers. Okay, so now we are going to move on to our big fat round flower, right? And we're looking at these petals. We see that they are big and round. These, pretty cool, but they have little divots in them, right? They go in on every single one. They're round, but they go in right here. See how they go in right there? So that's not what we're looking for. We're looking for the big round flower. This, my friend, is my big round flower. Does it match? It sure does. So go ahead and glue that on. And you should have one flower left. It's our flower that divots or goes in on every single petal. Okay, so I'm gonna glue that on so I can show you what it looks like finished. Now remember when it's glued, you can go ahead and color. Make sure your glue is dry. Okay, so we had our pointy skinny flower, our fat round flower, our divot flower, right? The one that goes in on every petal. And then we had our pointy fat flower, right? You have to think about ways that you guys can match them and look at each individual leaf, right? The petal are all different. So you have to decipher and figure out which ones match, okay? So this is our second activity for today. You guys can do it whenever you guys want today. And I will see you guys tomorrow. So I hope you have a fun day. Get outside and go play. And I'll see you tomorrow, friends. Bye.